20 seconds to be done with the washing, else you have something else coming. by pool. That's what you will have for today. You heard my sister, right? You are not going to eat anything like food. You will feed on my sister's pool. That is what you little swine deserve. Listen to me. I don't have time for this nonsense, this shenanigan. Listen to me. If I come back here and you're not done with this washing and taking care of my bedroom and cleaning up the palace, I'm going to be feeding your soul to the octopus in the ocean. You Swahili ancient Egypt. I am Hello? Yeah. Yeah, my brother is at the airport. Are you going to pick him up? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll meet you guys at the airport. Yeah, bye. There is a madman constituting nuisance at the gate, and no one seemed to be doing anything about it. Tell those guards to throw him out. I do not entertain grief rows in my kingdom. I'm the queen, the sunshine of Urumba kingdom. I've spoken. My words are all there. Go. Haro, your majesty. My beautiful mommy, the womb that bettered me. <laughs> Consider it done. No one dares challenge me. Not here, not even in their dreams. Because my words are law in this kingdom. Go tell them. Just as you please. Her Majesty. <laughs> I think I'm going to handle the issue of that lunatic myself. Because as teaching time does say, saves nine. Oh, I want to sink it on this. Okay, why are you balloon? Oh. Mom, what is the matter? Are you overheard you shouting? Kambili, she dares try to give my foot to that lunatic. What? If not that I caught her right-handed, she would have denied it. It's high time we thought that swine a lesson. What is it? Give your foot to a lunatic? Of all the food in this palace is our royal majesty's food. Coach. Keep an eye on that girl. She's biting more than she can chew. We need to clip her wings more. One step at a time. Whatever you do, don't let her die. One step at a time. 
them step at a time. Where is the Where is the man? He's gone. Gone? Where did he go? Ah, but I asked him to wait for me. I just went inside to get him food. Go back to your duty post. Please, can I... Can I just check outside? Because I know he might be waiting for me around the corner. Let me just look. I said go back to your duty post. Now! Please, now. Hey, Georgia, why are you doing this? Don't you have a conscience? I'm sure you know we are under the executive order from the Queen. And she will not be happy seeing you here. I'll suggest you leave this place this minute. Georgia, now. Hey, please, I'm begging you in God's name. Let me just look. Hey, use your hearts, please. It won't take anything from you now. Just check, just now, now. I'll come back inside. Please. What are you talking about? I cannot delete you. Are you joking? Why would you say that my daughter is pregnant for you? You're not certain about that, are you? Your Majesty, with due respect, we have come in peace. And we are here to look for a solution to the matter. Hence, your daughter, Princess Adure, have rejected the proposal of our son this minute. So? So? Listen, my daughter is a regent queen. She knows the law of the land and the consequences of being pregnant before wedlock. What are you talking about? How could you prove this? How can you prove it? Your Majesty, Princess Adure told me in confidence that she's likely to be pregnant. I mean, she was throwing up and also having high fever. And when I asked her to see the doctor, she was so sure she's pregnant. See, look, I do not want issues. I just want results from the doctor. Can you hear yourself talk? You sound like a lunatic. You sent someone to a doctor and the doctor couldn't provide result and you're asking me for the result. You are so sure. It was just a high fever. Why don't you call the doctor you sent her to, to resent her and the check? If my daughter is not pregnant for you, I will sue you and your miserable family. Now get out. Highness, we are not here for quarrel. We are here to make peace. I beg you to talk about I said, get out. I don't want to lose it. Get out. Let's go. Let's go. Sagamons. Don't, 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 I can feel. I can feel that. Nonsense. Look at her. Just look at her. You are sure. How could you be sure when you are not a doctor? Fools. Work on your profile before you're looking for royalties to settle with. Idiots. First two go. First three to come. Uncle. Did you just see the way Princess Campbell is dressed in her father's palace like a slave? Did you see that? Hey! I can my son. I saw that. I'm very surprised about that. Uncle Luke, there's something seriously fishy going on. I think so. And we have to get to the root of this matter. Sure! Oh, let's, leave. Leave. let's leave, please. Hey! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Your yeah, Majesty, I thank you for the special package that you give to me and to the other cabinet. I know and I'm very happy you always have our kingdom in your mind whenever you travel to the white man's land. 
Ichioka, as the ruler of this kingdom, I always have the kingdom in mind. <laughs> Your Majesty, I thank the gods for leading you safely from the white man's land to this our great kingdom. You see, you see. It was, it was a very smooth journey. Your Highness, I'd like to take my leave. It's okay. <sighs> I regards to everyone in the world. I am sorry for the death of your father. It's okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is so horrible. My heart goes to your family, my dear friend. I am grateful. Thank you. It's okay. Um, I'll leave the both of you to have a good moment. I'll be in my room. So you let me know before you leave. Okay, I will. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. So that reminds me. You have a stepsister, right? Yes. What about her? You know, um, I've always heard about her. I want to see her one of these days. Oh, please. Kambili is a wayward child. You don't need to meet her. She's either partying from one state to another with her irrelevant friends, or she's somewhere drunk or smoking. Are you serious? E even at this point, the palace is mourning. I have done everything to make her come back, but she has refused. Y you know what? Let us just change the topic, please. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. So tell me, how about your mom and your sister? They're fine. Are you trying to tell me that they sacked you guys out of the palace and you people didn't deem it fit to take your full salary before leaving the palace? Ikem, you want to understand. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to fight the rich? We are talking about your salary here. Your salary! How will you leave the palace without your full salary? Not even that you had any misconduct and they sacked you guys. You left here without your salary. Okay, my major concern is Princess Cambiru. I don't know how she's coping with them. I don't just know. Listen to me, young woman. Whatever happens in the palace, stays in the palace. We're talking about your salary here. 50,000 naira, that's a big amount of money now. How do we get it? What do you want me to do? What do you want, what do you want me to do? I'm confused. No problem. I know what to do. They cannot eat your money and go free. They cannot eat it and think that they are smart. Nobody will do that. I know what to do. He came, don't go and fight though. He came. He came. Now leave my house. Leave! How dare you? How dare you, swan? How dare you raise your filthy voice at me? Have you forgotten who you are shouting at? You slapped me. You dare not! Try it and you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Take it down. Down! Do you realize who you ever shouted at? I am a princess, the royal one at that. As such, you have no right whatsoever to raise your disgusting voice at me. Don't you ever. I have pleaded with you, Ekene. I have begged you countless times to be calm with me. Be calm and be my husband. Come into my world. Let's rule my kingdom together. Forget about my sister, because she's moved on. She's moved into another royalty. I am offering you my kingdom on a platter of gold. Do with it whatever you please, as long as you were my husband. Now listen to me, Princess Somachi. I am not interested 
in whatever throne or bullshit you have to offer. I am not. And now tell me, why have you people turned Princess Kambili into a puppet in a father's palace? Shut up. Shut your disgusting, stinking mouth. You know, what killed the talkative is the fact that he does not mind his business. He dares poke his nose into other people's businesses. Mind what I bring to your table and not what happens in my father's kingdom. I do not care. I do not care. And for your information, I do not need whatever you have to offer to me, Ekene. And I would never need anything from you. Now let me tell you this. This would be the last time I am going to tell you this. The next time you try this, you would not like my actions. I promise you this. Now, I want you to leave my house. Leave now! The Lechuku, the one that I've loved so much, the only true man my heart yearns for. I don't know. I don't know the reason you have always treated me like a piece of trash. The fact that you treat me this way is beginning to get to my nerves. But what baffles me most is the fact that I see myself running to you incessantly despite all that you do to me. I am begging you, Ikene, please, don't do this to me. Do not treat me this way. I have committed no crime other than loving you. I, I, am, I am just a woman in love. You're the one my heart yearns for. Do not push me away. Give us a chance, we can not let you go. And I promise you, you will never regret it. I will forever be loyal to you. Just marry me. Now are you done spilling all the rubbish in your mouth? Please, I can help. Are you done? No. You're not done? Not yet. Now I want you to kindly use the door. No. Peacefully. Please. Yes. You're not going to like my action in the next... Oh, you want to doubt me? Please. Now leave my house. Leave! Leave! Leave my house! Nonsense! What nonsense? What is it? Eh? What is it? Is it my first to love somebody? What nonsense is this? to tell you this for the last time. Remove your eyes, your mouth, your ears, even your nose from that palace. Whatever goes on there is none of our business. Please. Papa, 
did you see how they are treating Princess Kambili like a slave in her father's palace? Is it even fair? It is not our business. Mind your business. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it is my business. And I'm going to report that the Queen and her daughters to, 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 to the elders of our land. You will do no such thing. Yes. It is not in your place to fight for them. Let the girls do the fighting. So, you're now free to come to the palace at your will. I will come on. There will never be a problem, trust me. Nice. <laughs> Looks more like it. Oh my word. Yes, who's that? Are you alright? What is wrong with you? Um, what do you want? My, 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 my mother, Queen Mother, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I just. I just finished cooking your, your, your food, so I, I, I served it. I said I should come and tell you that. Get out! Get out! Get out! Don't you know how to knock and say who you are? You didn't lock the door. Come on, it's nothing. Hmm? She's just a nobody. Do you understand? You think so? I know so. The food is ready. I want us to go eat and come up and rock it. <laughs> come on, you, you eat first. If you eat first, let's go and eat. The lioness herself. My beautiful mother. You sure know how to take me all away. Honestly, I enjoyed what I saw today. I enjoyed seeing that girl in pain. Like I always do. Mom, I, I, I loved what you did to her. I loved the punishment. Especially when you asked her to keep lifting those baby, baby objects. That made my day. It was, it was a good sight to be old, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, my daughter. Yeah. Lioness begets lioness. I can see you're ready to give her a full dose of your own wrath. <laughs> I can actually say that they came on. Full dose is an understatement. Hmm. Unleashing is the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, come to think of it more. Mm. Um, what happens if Adure gets married to King Jordan? Then you have access to the throne on a platter. Your sister, Princess Adure, won't have any option than to give it to you. You and I know I don't trust your daughter, Mom. I don't. Yes, she's my sister, but she's so freaky snaky. She can easily switch up on me anytime, any day, like without even caring about my emotions. <laughs> about that. I am the queen. I am surprises myself. You don't need to worry. I have everything. Everything under my control. When is she getting married to King Judah? She said so. So. Okay. I saw Eken and his uncle here yesterday. Yeah, they came. What brought them? Hmm? What what? Brought them. Oh, that. 
It's nothing to discuss about. I've sorted it out with Adore. <laughs> Come off it, Mom. When are you going to stop keeping secrets from me? I didn't get that. A lot of secrets between you and my sister. Maybe you think I'm a child, but I am no more a child. I'm an adult. <laughs> Another secret. Just like you sneaking your man friend into this palace today. Shut him out. No, I would not, Mom. If you do not do my beatings, I won't shut up. Then I have to shut you up. If you make me marry the man of my dreams, if you help me become the queen of this kingdom, that will only make me zip it. Anything other than that. Enough! You will shut me up, man. Yourself. Don't forget your table manners. My love, I have just been assaulted by your maid. What? Oh yes. Your maid slapped me because I asked her for a glass of water. That thing had the gut to spit on my face. Can you imagine that? And you did what? You didn't give her the beating of her life? You just left. No, that's what I intend to do now. She won't live to tell her story. Do with her how you please us. Just spare her life. Oh, God. God! God! I will not let you lay a finger on her. You idiots. Why would you call him an idiot? Mom, this he goat here, this blinking twat, gold digger, has his eyes on Kambili. Hold on, you, you, you actually think nobody saw you? I saw you. I saw you trying to woe her. Deny it, you blinking idiot. She lied. You shut Ooh. up. My daughters don't lie to me. So... This is what you do. I warned you. It's not true. How would you want to be killed? How? Get out. Get, Get out! out! I kill you! Get out! Gold digger. I don't want to see you again. Oh, no, it's not true. Get out. Ooh, very big food, mom. Hello. Someone is coming out of this gate. Follow him. Shoot him. Dispose his body. Now. the food? You do? Do you want more? You do? Okay. Get some more, okay? Okay? Um, I, I'm going to go inside. I'll get you a change of clothes. Alright? Besides, where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Eh? Why do you always disappear? Now, don't go anywhere. Did you hear me? I'll get you a change of clothes. And also, I'm thinking of getting a clipper to shave your beards. You don't want to shave? Okay. 
ठीक है Hey, um, I'm already getting used to everything around here, so don't pity me, okay? He's my stepmother's lover, her boyfriend. He, he spanked me on my buttocks. I retaliated with a slap, and he beat me up mercilessly in the presence of my stepmother. And sisters. Don't worry about me. No, it's okay. Let's talk about you. So, you really don't want to shave your hair? See. Do you know you're a fine man? See, if you allow me to shave this your hair, eh? And a little. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Eat your food. What's your name, Seb? Nadozi. Nadozi. Okay, drink water. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Drink some small. <laughs> it's it up. into the palace, a madman. Have you lost it? No, it is the panach for me. You really have got. What? Will you take this generation of yours out of this palace? At the next time, come back here. Come back here, you need to it. Come back here. The next time you will try this, come back here. The next time you will try this, you will best time you out of your breath and use it for my masturbating procedure. Do you understand me? Get out! Bastard! No, listen, I, I, I can understand that you're mad. Get your useless son out of this place! Retarded souls! What? How dare you? Brother. You look worried. What's the problem? <sighs> My sister. No, I'm happy. But I'm fine. I'm okay. Are you sure? You can talk to me. What's really bothering you? Do you think Princess Adure is the right person for me? Come on, brother. We've talked about this several times. I mean, the little time I've spent with her, she's she's okay and she's well brought up. Or do you want her to come to the palace and stay with us so you can reserve her? No, no. Um, you know, Maya, I don't. I don't want this palace to experience another bad queen. And then again, these ladies have a way of hiding their bad characters for as long as it stands. So that's why I'm bothered. But I understand you, but you really don't have to be. 
Princess Adore is a nice girl. I mean, she's a well brought up um, lady. And um, I don't want you, I want you to let go of your past. I don't want you to keep thinking about it. She's not going to have anything that looks like Annie. I promise you. You know, the elders were worried. They were concerned about the about everything, but I told them that I would take my time. I told them to cheer. I have everything under control. And definitely I will take my time. You don't have to worry, brother. I mean, this time you're getting it right. Yes. Yeah. Everything is going to be fine. I have told you to forget about that princess, Adure. Hmm? Forget about her! Listen, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know about nature, she is going to regret every bit of her action. Even her mother has been supporting her. Don't worry. You see how it's going to happen? That's true. Do not worry. Keep calm. I have done my investigation. Found out that she was pregnant for it. Yes! Yes! She was. And her evil mother instructed her to abort it. And she obeyed the instructions of her evil mother. What? Papa? She aborted my child? Uncle? Wait. She has the mind to abort my child, Papa. There is a young king in a far land we do not know. Are you, are you serious? That has interest in her, in making her the, the queen. Papa? No way. That is why she abandoned you. Can you hear him? Calm down, calm down. No, 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 Posterity will judge her. She appointed my child. Uncle, you can relax. My child, you will see something happen. Look, look, you, you are not welcomed in this house. You are not welcomed in my house. Please, Papa. Sit down. Hold on. I cannot sit down. My sister aborted your child. And that's because she wanted a king for Hey, 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 Hold it there! You know how to make big boom? Much ever. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. We know all the stupid story you want to tell us. And we are not interested. Please, get out of here. Get out! Princess, please, go and leave us as a family so that we can talk. What are you doing? You're sitting there. We said we get back to you. You and who? Uh -huh. Remember to who? I see. Also. I sense. I cannot delete you, Queen. I will become queen of my kingdom in a few weeks to come. Listen. I am not part of whatever it is that is fighting you from the royal home. Come, be my man, be by my side, become my husband. Let's rule the entire kingdom together. I shall give you whatever it is that you ever wanted. Fame, power, wealth, all the rich to get from her royal majesty to come. So I indulge you. Please come to me because it will definitely be worth the ride. Four. Come, be my husband.
fear go. Oh, for my look, no, my son. As a bona, as a bona, as a bagani, as a bona, my son cannot be your husband. I am going to politely ask you to gently leave my house. Leave my house and never come back. Because the next time I have to talk about this, you wouldn't like my actions. And as for you, I am not going to be involved in anything that concerns this matter again. This is the last time. Please. Look, do not dare me. If I go in there and come back here to meet you, don't dare me. Do not dare me. No. Yes. Since you have decided to be the king, behold your queen. This is your palace. I, I, I cannot understand you, Jehovah. My princess. <laughs> you can see. Ichienze, you are the only one that understands what I want. Yes, I do. Very well, I do. Get it. Done. Trust me, I will do that. Your account details. Zero zero four two three five seven seven. Sweeping. I just tell me everything is all right. Everything is okay. I'm just um. How, how long has this been going on? What's that? The sweeping now. I'm just exercising myself because I'm bored. There's really nothing. Young man, okay. who are you and what is your mission in this palace? Your Majesty, my name is Iken now. I'm here in respect of my girlfriend, Uju. You relieved her of her duties without settling her. It's not fair now. Eh? It is not palatable to the ears. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Guards! Guards! Who allowed this madman here? We did, Your Majesty. Then you must be silly. Now take him out. No, 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 Your Majesty. No, no. You, we need to settle that girl now. We need to settle that. We need money for, for her mother's drugs now. She's Who's in the hospital. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up. Come on. Get up. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you touch me, I will break. Come on. Get. Your Majesty! 
I will kill this boy too. Come on, come on. You. You talk to everything you see. Isn't it? Try that again. Did you look at me? Ma? You were giving me tense, right? You want to slap me? I didn't look at I didn't even see you, Ma. I didn't see I didn't you see. You didn't see me. I didn't Am I invisible? I've not seen you today. Am I invisible? No. I'm sorry. I'm going your gown so that you don't fall. Shut your mouth. I know it used to be your mother's clothes and then it's mine now. Mine! Only mine! Sweet. I really want you to be nice. I want my brother to choose you as the queen, you know? I really can't wait for you to be here. I understand. But trust me, there's no need for the wash. I shouldn't even fake it at all. If it's going to work, then it's going to work out. You are right. The thing is, I really like you, you know? If you observe, my brother is always observing you whenever you come to the palace. I just want you to be your receive, so that he will be quick in taking you as the queen. I see. <laughs> you know, I can't wait to be with you guys over here. But trust me, we have to give it time. There's no rush in here and there's no need to fake it. <sighs> what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't wait to have you here. You will. <sighs> oh, so, let's talk about something else apart from your brother. <laughs> so what do you want to say? So sorry. Okay? Sorry about everything. They beat me in it. They beat me in it. They, they slapped me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Listen, I'm going to go inside and get you a change of clothes. Alright? And then I'm I'm also going to get a clipper so that I can I can bab your hair. You don't want to bab your hair. You know, if you bob your beard and your hair, you're going to appear clean. No. Okay, no problem. Um, I'll also get you something to eat. Will you eat? Will you eat, right? I'm coming, okay? Don't go anywhere. Or just wait for me. Did you hear me? Stay here and wait. Do not move, okay?
But ask him to wait here. Mm -hmm. He has left. Huh. But I asked him to wait for me now. I don't expect anything positive from you. Madman, that is why he's a madman. Oh no. I am telling you what I saw at the palace. Not the sacking of the royal staffs. My friend, will you shut up and conduct yourself? Tell me what I want to hear. You mean to tell me that our own princess, eh, is being treated like a maiden in her own father's palace? Huh. Oh no, Wu. Oh no, Wu. I am telling you that I saw the princess looking like a total stranger. Total stranger. What? Even the men in the palace, they look more beautiful than her. Oh. I see. No smoke without fire. This could be one of the reasons she told us never to go to the palace again until further notice. But let me ask you, Ikena, are you sure of what I just told me? Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm giving you a vital information, a legit update. Legit update. You people should go to the palace and see for yourself. Hello, man. It's okay. Thank you so much, my son. Thank you. I know what to do. You can now go. No, 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 no. Oh, no. You people should do something about this matter. You people should do something about this matter. Otherwise, this will lead to a protest in this village. Oh. It will lead to a big protest in this village. I don't get that. Hmm. I said, I'm saying it. Leave this place. It's a protest. Hey, but why must this happen? Princess Kambiri is supposed to feel free in her father's palace, not to be turned into a medic. I will not speak to no problems. According to your tradition, you have to get married first before you declare the burial of your father. Yes, you're right. Well, you didn't tell me the part of you succeeding your father. Well, that's because I thought you knew much about our rules and traditions. Mm. But hence we're getting married, I have decided to give it to my younger sister. Interesting. But you have a stepsister. Yes, I do. And she is Ada. So why not just give it to her instead of your younger sister? That one. She is never interested. As a matter of fact, she has nothing to do with the throne. She does not want to have anything to do with the, the palace. That's quite strange, you know. You see, I would love to see your stepsister. How can I see her? Really? Yes. Well, that, that should be whenever she returns. And when she does, trust me, I will bring her to your palace. Please do. Yeah, and um, one more thing. About the... Are you expecting someone? Greetings to you, my princess. To your princess. Greetings. My princess, we heard that you came to our kingdom and we have decided to come and say hello to you. Yes, my princess. We are part of the girls that came to your kingdom the other day that you helped, you gave us money, you established us. So we are here to say thank you for your generosity and kindness. Wow. Oh, I don't even know them. I help a lot of people on a daily basis, despite their communities. Yes, you bought me a sewing machine and a generator for my shop. God will continue to bless and increase you, my princess. Thank you. Thank you so much. And please, do not forget to always spread love wherever you are. Good yes, night, my princess. princess. Thank One you. more thing, my princess. We would like you to be our queen in this kingdom. Yes, yes. we would like you to be our queen. <laughs> Bye, Bye, my princess. Bye. Bye. I love seeing smart women. Very hardworking. 
That's quite impressive. You know, you have a very good heart. You can say that again. And I'm also thinking of um, building an orphanage for the homeless and the orphans. Wow. That's huge. Right? Yeah. Well, it's good. It's very good. <laughs> Okay, girls, I just did the transfer. Have you gotten it? I've seen it. <laughs> you guys did a wonderful job. Thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice I don't one. get money for cream. Oh, I wish for about it, right? So I am trying Real to... Very much we know about us. Good. Very good. She's there to see how things are going. Oh no, may I know why you insist on asking after her as if she's missing? Yes, actually, she seems missing because we all know Princess Campbell. Really? Yes, a very popular maiden and the uh, princess of this kingdom. Two weeks now or thereabouts. We have not seen this wonderful princess of this kingdom. We have not seen her drive about, greeting people here and there, and feeling for people, and people relating with her as usual. We are missing her. The kingdom is missing her. The, the villagers are missing her. We need to know about her. her. What about? Yes. Secondly, Asina Oku Nagawara Wara. Aya Nagawara Wara Nafuya. What we've been hearing about this particular princess is not anything to write home about. Not palatable to us at all. I mean, we need to know about her what about. In fact. Oh no. Whatever it is you heard about my sister is total rubbish. Like my mother said, she traveled to London to supervise my father's business over there. Of course. She's in London working for the betterment of this royal home. When will she be back? When she's done. It's an emergency. She is not playing there. Uh, Queen, I've heard what you said. I will pretend as if what the princess so much said is just childish. I wasn't have had rubbish. I am the prime minister of this kingdom. And you know that. Now, this is the second issue. Which is? Why is it that Princess Adure is not yet married up to now? Why is it that Princess Adure is not yet married? She needs to get married so we can go ahead and crown her uh, queen. Yes. Then we'll now bury her father, the king. And those things will be, will, will be laid aside. I will be crowned queen after my father, Onobu. Huh? Hello. Hey, my princess. You did not say such a thing. Huh? Uh, huh? Princess Somachi. <laughs> my sister will relinquish the crown to me. And I will be made queen. Princess Somachi, I heard you very clearly. You said that you will become our queen. <laughs> Please, for your information, you are the second daughter of this royal family. Ask your mother the rest of the questions surrounding it. Laughing at me will be tantamount to your position as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom. So be very careful. So be careful. Hey, my princess. Ask your mother. Go back to her. Ask her. Mother, say something. 
Tell them what. So much. Tell them. Enough. Be still. My elders. Apologies. The cabinet meeting will be rescheduled. I'll summon you in no time. So that your majesty. Hmm? Apologies sustained. Hmm. Others. Ona dear. It was if also. Ona? Hmm? If it were. We must leave fast. The queen has asked us to go. to remain in your room till further notice. You did, but, but um, Princess Adri asked me to come and sweep the entire compound. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you do as I say! It's not my orders in this palace, okay? And I will have your head chopped off! Be quick with this and come attend to me. you're doing squatting instead of sweeping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for your miserable self. The fact that you're still breathing next to me disgusts me. By the time I become the queen, I will make sure you vanish from this palace. And oh! How do I look? I am asking you, idiot, how do I look? I should look good. Good. Your hairs, clothes, jewelries, everything that you ever own, they are all mine now. And there is nothing you can do about it. Swine. Let me not wait for you at the count of ten. I don't want to hear. Hey, shh. Oh no. I don't just believe those people. Something very serious happened in that palace. How can Princess Camry travel to her community without putting her father to Morayet? Eh? Oh no. The worst is that I've been trying to reach Princess Camry on phone. But her line is not connected. Well, I keep trying. Something is wrong. Somewhere. I have these feelings that Ikenna is not lying to us. Yes. The young man did not just make up that story, but I've seen something. I believe the young man, Queen Agatha and her daughters, are lying to us. Yes. But let us just pretend until we see the end. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So why have I not heard from you for some days now? My princess, uh, 
I, I, I've been, I've been around, but the issue there is that. Uh, but I want to ask you something. Just something is getting me confused. Is Ekene the only man in the whole of this community you must marry? Will you shut your filthy mouth, you old hag? How dare you question my authority? You were paid to work, not to cast some questions. You made me understood that you were capable of doing this job. Yeah. Am I wrong? Never correct. So what happened to your nerves? Why are they slacking all of a sudden? My princess, I am still very capable. I know I am capable, but you see that Ekene, that boy, is a very stubborn boy. When I look at that boy, I can still see love in, in, in his face. He still loves your sister so much. Shut up. Don't rub nonsense to my face. My sister is getting married to a king. And whatever it is that happens there is not your business. Your business is to get the job done. Get Ekene to marry me by hook or by crook. I don't care whether he loves me or not. Your job is to get him marry me. And that is what you're going to do. Am I clear on that? My princess, you, 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 you made it very clear. Now I am promising you once again, Ekene, whether you love him or he does not love you, he must marry you. I will make it happen. He must marry you. That's my promise. Now you listen real good, you old hag. No one eats from me without doing their job. I paid you handsomely to get him married to me. Yes. By hook or by crook, failure to execute that, you will face my ugly wrath. My princess, I will never fail. Get out. I will never fail. Get out. Your sister would help you become the queen of this kingdom. But is she going to be the one finding the man for you? You need a husband. You need a real man. Yes. Not all those little, little boys you open your legs up for. You're a queen in waiting. So you behave like a queen in waiting. Hold on, mom. What do you take me for? You think I'm a kid, right? You actually think I'm a baby. Why do I have this feeling that you and Adure are playing a fast one on me? I beg your pardon? Yes, don't beg my pardon at this point, mom. Excuse me. Why do I feel that way? Listen, Adure might be too smart to get away with whatever she does, but not to play a smart one on me. <laughs> I can see your mind is made up. And what in the green world is going on here? Why did you not say anything? Please sit. sit. <clears throat> okay, so to you, my elder sister, why did you not say anything when I was speaking to the elders about me becoming the queen? Why did you not affirm my utterance? Why did both of you shut me up in that manner? Why? What don't you understand? I said, why? Well, young woman, watch your mouth. Are you crazy? Don't talk to me in that manner. Have you lost it? I am not arguing it with you. I have already promised to make you the queen, right? What else do you want? If you promise to make me the queen, why are you still then communicating with Chief Collins? What? Ch Chief Collins? Yes, Chief Collins. You don't know I'm aware. I am as bad as you are. I learned from you. I watched every of your steps. You cannot overshadow me. Don't even think that I am daft. For crying out loud, that man was once your sugar daddy. Are you mad? Have you lost it? No, have you gone bananas? What? What the 
hell do you think you want to talk to me in that tone? Watch your mouth. If you must know, Chief Collins was once your daughter's sugar daddy. And he also wants the crown desperately. Listen, both of you. If I do not become the queen, I will disgrace both of you. In fact, I will destroy you. I will tell the elders what you've done to get to this point. How would you feel good night to kill my dad and Queen Paula? Don't you dare me! Shh. Are you seeing Chief Collins? Mother, I am not seeing Chief Collins. Come off it. She's just having an integrated disease. I'm not. Believe me. Queen of Oro Kingdom, you are welcome. Thank you, Great One. What brings you to my shrine? Great One, I want you to help me. I want my daughter to be crowned queen after her father. Who is Kambili? My stepdaughter. Hmm. She is a queen. I see her ruling over your children. May the gods forbid. I see a crown over her head. I see your children, your two daughters. Their names are Adure and Somachi. I see them bowing at her feet. And I see your husband smiling at the end like a victor. No, this can't be. You need to help me. My first daughter, Adure, is the first fruit of the palace. She's supposed to succeed her father. She's to be crowned the next queen after me, after her father. She's my first blood. You will have to kill the queen, your co-wife. When you kill her, the mission will be aborted. For the king loves her so much that he will do anything for her and her daughter. But do not, I repeat, do not attempt to kill the princess or send her away. What about the king, my husband? What if he crowns our queen over my children? Because I know that he loves her more than he loves my children. Your daughters are stubborn, disobedient, and arrogant to their father. Should a father consider his stubborn child to sit on his throne? Hmm. That father should be a foolish one. What must I do? Then get ready to take off the king as well. Help me. You will have to help yourself. I have only told you the future. It is left for you to thwart it or you leave it. Okay. Okay. Ebu kid. Wan buze. Ebu na ni he kalelia. Ti win. All right. I have to thwart the future. Future. 
You are not serious, are you, Mom? I'm telling you what is about to happen. I've discussed this with Adore before now. That will not happen, Mom. Because I will never let Kambli rule over me as a queen in this kingdom. Come on, Mom. She's my mate. We are age mates. How, How is that even possible? Well, I, I just said it. It is going to be over my dead body that I will let that happen. <laughs> that will not happen. Just so you know. I am certain that your father wants to favor Olamna and her daughter. And you know who your father is. What he says stands. You have to take it easy. I have spoken to our children and I believe they will turn a good leaf soon. With the way Adura is going, I'm scared she cannot succeed. No. My lord, you cannot do otherwise. Adura is your first daughter. The crown belongs to her. She owns the crown. I don't care. She has to impress me. Oh, and it's quite disheartening that even Somachi has followed suit. These are my children, I feel concerned too. My lord, like I said, Adure is your first daughter. She's the first daughter of this kingdom. My lord, Adure owns the crown. And I shall continue to talk to her and her sisters. Please, my lord. Stop praising Kambiri, my daughter, in front of them. It will make them feel unloved. My lord, I don't want Adura and Somachi to start casting aspiration over their own blood. I don't care. I don't care how they feel. Really? Yes. Kambiri at her age, she, she finished her education and still, she's still a virgin. You are aware of that. She's the one that is running the family's company. She's the one that foresees that money is coming in every day in and out. And nobody's complaining about that. What does these other girls do? They fly in, come here, take whatever that is here. They don't know how Cambry is suffering and laboring to make that money and off they fly again. Is that what life is all about? Yes, no, no, I don't want that to continue. I already have my plans. My lord, I know Kambiri is the one making all the money. But like I said, Adure is your first daughter. The crown belongs to her. I don't want people to start talking. I am not from this kingdom. You cannot do otherwise. I don't care. Yes. You, you do not care? I said I don't care. Mm. Then I retire to my chambers. I don't care. You are my first wife. You are supposed to be guiding your daughters in the right direction, but you are the one aiding them, you know, chasing waterfalls instead of the rivers they are used to. Yes, and that is absolutely wrong. Well, you don't like them. Yes, you don't, do you? I love all my children. Of course, I don't discriminate. And for that you already know. I have given them the best life can offer. Education, good life, name them. Even though they are females, I do not care. I don't discriminate. I don't joke with any of them. And you are aware of that. So there's something they are lacking. 
Your unconditional love. You don't know what you're talking about. They don't have it. Of all the things you counted, where is the intimacy between father and daughters? What? What was that? <laughs> My friend, I'm very happy that finally Princess Adure is getting married very soon. Mm -hmm. At least, marriage will make her drop some of her excesses. Mm. You're right. To make her become a responsible woman. Exactly. That is what the uh, king has always been complaining about her. I believe this marriage will make her view life in a different way. You're right. This chicken is so sweet. Thank you very much. You made it? Yeah. Mm. You want some more? I can't wait to have some more. Really? Honestly. Let me tell the maiden to get some more for you. Mm. Spiced. You like it, eh? I love it. Mm. Um, oh, Olive. Please, I need to go out and see what the preparation looks like. Oh, really? Please, eh? Don't forget, they should get the meat. No problem. I'm counting on. No problem. Just bring them to bring it to my quarter. Huh? I'll be waiting. Don't, no problem. I'm right behind you. You're right behind you. Yeah. to do something, anything at all, even if it means to kill, steal, destroy, whatever it takes to abort that mission, I am out for it. Because like I said, it is going to be over my dead body that I will be alive and watch Kambili rule over me as a queen. That. First, you stole my husband's heart. Now, your daughter wants to steal my daughter's birthright. Gods of our land. What do you have me do? Gods of Urumba Kingdom. Mm. What? What do you... What do you have me... do? Did I not tell you I was going to deal with you? Did I not say that to you? I told you, pray! Pray because I will deal with you. A slave you are and a slave you forever remain. That is what I want. I was talking and you were talking. Talk now. Are you now dumb? You imbecile. Talk. Talk back at me. Talk back at me. That's what I say. You can't talk anymore. Talk back at me now. Talk back at me. I am talking to you. 
You're not my sister again. You're not my elder sister again, right? Nonsense. Let, 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 let me see how you wear all those hair. Or all the hairs that, 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 that your stupid mother bought for you. Come and wear them, let me see. Get out! Talk back at me. Talk back at me, Kambili. You imbecile of a human being. You talk to me. Talk back at me now. I waited for this day. I patiently waited for this day to finish you. I am not done with you. You're staring at me in that manner. Why are you staring at me like that? Talk back at me, you octopus of... I don't even know what to call you. What are you? What are you? Let me... Tell me what to call you. How dare you try to talk my son into marrying Princess uh, Adura's uh, younger sister? Why? For what? No, what's the meaning of that, 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 that stupid nonsense? Why? Is your fault? Eh? Is that why you're shouting? Why would I shout? I don't... Can't you understand this? Understand what? If your son marries the princess uh, Somachi, uh -huh. definitely he will become the king. So why, why can't you understand it? Understand what? Why are you listening to your enos? Eh? Uh, oh wait, because of uh, stupid royal benefits, you, you, you want to talk my son into licking the ass, the very dirty ass of, 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 of that stupid idiotic girl? Eh? Why? For what? This I don't want that. I don't want any stupid royal benefits from that stupid royal household. I don't want anything from them. Ejofo, don't judge from that angle. That the Hedda's sister messed up does not mean that her junior sister is bad. This Somachi is a good girl. Yes. What makes you a good girl? So you don't know. You, you don't know. from the same stupid royal household? Listen to me, I don't want anything from that royal household. I don't want anything from the king, I don't want anything from the queen, I don't want anything from their useless daughters. Please, I don't ever want to hear that you went to my son's house to bamboozle him or to, to try to convince him to do that nonsense, to, that stupid thing you, you have in your head. I don't want it. I don't want him to marry from the royal household. Please, just stop it right now. Stop it. Stop. All of us will benefit. All of us will benefit. Uh, who doesn't like good thing? Ejofo? Uh -huh. So this boy told his father to come and warn me. Hey, I'm in trouble because I, I, I don't take bribe. I don't have eating bribe. I don't know. This girl will come after me and my own is finished. I will run away from this community. Go to the township and stay with my daughter so that I will be safe. This girl will kill me with, 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 with her wickedness. That's all I will do. <laughs> bribe. Hey. I'm in trouble. Your Highness, what else are we waiting for? The throne is empty and the queen has to be crowned. We can no more wait. More so, our festival is fast approaching. We cannot celebrate without a queen. Your Highness, please do something towards this direction. Do something very quick. The daughter of late King Alfred, Princess Adore, is the best woman for you. Your Highness, she is a queen from birth. Elelewe John, Okura Wango, Ugobechi, Ehonwa. This girl is the best for you, Your Highness. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Ichi Amade here is right. In fact, we have gone to consult the gods with all the necessary requirements, and they have proved that uh, Princess Adure is your rightful wife. And that was why your first marriage with a, a Queen Annie failed because she was not your wife but princess adure is your wife please do something our kingdom need a queen please your highness please brother i think the others are right we really need a queen before the festive period
my elders, my dear sister. I've heard everything you said, but the truth remains that I won't be in a haste to do anything. I need to take my time. But then again, I assure all of you that in no distant time, we will go to Oru Kingdom, get their princess, and marry her as my wife. <laughs> Your Highness, which date? Time! We are inquisitive to know because we have to get prepared. It's okay, we will schedule another meeting right here in my palace. Then we can discuss the time and the date. That shouldn't be a problem. It's all right, Your Highness. That's very good. We are waiting. Brother, you know I will always support you. As long as the decision you are making is good for the both of us. Maya. Brother. Marriage is not what you think it is. Marriage is way beyond all the king and queen bubbles. I don't want to be a victim of hate, anger, uncertainties. Adure has proven that she is a well brought up lady. Yes. But there is something I asked her to do for me and I'm still waiting for that. And what is that? A lesson. I don't want to rush into marriage. I feel marriage is something that we just have to take our time. We should take our time, know each other, understand each other, know if it's going to work or not. I'll be with my friend, I understand you. I mean, I know where you're coming from, but you see, my brother, our king, he cannot keep residing on the throne without a queen. Besides, our festive season is fast approaching, you know? I really need both of you to like maybe come together and work out this marriage of a thing. I really do think so. Okay, you know, I don't want to sound like some desperate woman. But I think about it. I mean, if it makes you happy, I will gladly do it. Thank you. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. So what about your stepsister? Ah. When are we saying her? Yes, this weekend. You know, Kambli is one psycho fanatic coconut head. Trust me. I can't wait for you to meet her. You will see what I am talking about. I just hope she does not disgrace me. No, no, no. I don't think she will. Really? I don't think she will. Just bring her. <laughs> um, I'm chat. <laughs> They killed my parents. They killed my mommy. Look at what they did to me. Oh Lord. Look, just look at me. Oh, no. I will expose them. I will have to leave this palace. I will run. I will tell everyone in the kingdom. I need to tell the elders. I need to tell Onowu. Yes, I have to go now. So, 
what did you conclude with the Obudu elders? Well, mother, they're still trying to make him regime. You know, I just can't wait to leave this palace and become the queen of Obudu Kingdom. Why don't you quit the pretense and go tell him how you feel? Are you forcing me? No. But we all know how desperate you've been to occupy that position. What changed? I mean, why, who, who are you hiding it from? Me or mom? Watch your mouth. I wasn't talking to you, you loud, pig-mouthed idiot. Mom, you started it. Must sister always abuse me? Did I say anything wrong now? Exactly, you did. Why can't you be at peace with your spirit? Who, who is that? Going on. She was trying to escape from the palace. I want to go. I want to leave this place, okay? I don't want to be here anymore. Why am I here? What am I doing here? Just let me go. I want to go. You evil and demonic queen. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? Did you just call my mother? You heard me. Evil people, monsters! How oh, crazy! Oh, oh, oh. Take her away, lock her up, and give her the bitching of her miserable pathetic life. Leave me! Now move, move. Oh! You stand up! I move it! Leave me alone! Leave me! I said you leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Cut, cut! I spit on your grave! Evil people! Monsters! That's what you are! Wait! I want you to lock her up. Henceforth, she's a prisoner in this palace. Lock her without food. I'm not your prisoner! Oh. I am not your prisoner! Such a nuisance. Who's oh. thinking of one of that? I don't understand the reason this idiot is still alive. Why is she still in this palace? You can actually make her mad or even disappear. Not now. That time will come. It has to be one thing at a time. It's a guy that will fence. So back to our discussion. Hmm. Come tell me more about the dealings of Obudu. Kingdom! Kingdom. <laughs> I want to know. Yes! My queen, we are not happy. In fact, we are over worried. We are sad. We want to know the whereabouts of our princess, Kambiri. A princess of this kingdom, a maiden of this kingdom. We need to know about her whereabouts. You told us that she went to London to that time. And up till now, we've never heard anything about her or her whereabouts. Not in known of her. Now we need the international number of that daughter of ours. Can be so that we call her and hear things from her ourselves. I don't have it. You don't have it? Hmm. This is not working. <laughs> it's not working at all. My queen, you say you don't have it. Well, why didn't you send your own daughter, Princess Adore, to London? Yes, you would have sent her. I don't believe your story is not clear to me. In any case, I want to see the princess, Queen Uloma's daughter here. Good. That's all. Well, she'll be back and you will see her. When is she coming back? 
When will she be back? Eh? She will come back and you will see her. I don't want the guards of this kingdom to embarrass elders like you. With all due respect, we are still mourning a king and a queen in this palace. And I want you to accord this household that respect. If you don't trust your queen, I will give you the address to the king's company, your late king's company in London. You go there and see Cambly yourselves. I was on the call when they told me that you guys came. Hey! So I would love to go and finish what I was doing before you interrupted my business call. Hmm. This is not happening. Oh, mm -hmm. she walked out on us. Mini what? Huh? Well, what is happening here? Can someone tell me what the matter is? Is this happening in our kingdom or? Well, oh no. I will say that when a man set out for a journey and has even not arrived at his destination, the journey still rests on his feet. In any case, I don't think the queen is paying our intelligence. I don't really think so. I think you are right. But in this case, this is just the beginning of the whole thing. This is not the end of this. No problem, let's go. This is not happening. It is not happening. We cannot be doing I do not want to believe that you men of Obudu are playing with me. Are you? No, my princess. We are not. How can we play with you? So why is it taking your king so much time to come and marry me? For goodness sake, I paid you heavily for this. 500,000 Naira is not a lame business. I'm sorry, my prince, my princess. Uh, 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 please, calm down. Please, let me explain. We have been trying our best for our king to marry you. And we even lied to him. He promised us that very soon that he will come to your kingdom and marry you, please. We will try to... Enough! I do not want any more excuses. It should not exceed this week. Else, you will feel my wrath. God forbid, my princess. Excuse me. This madman is me. Where this madman is he is coming from? Eh? Evil people. Yeah, yeah, not planning on who to kill. Can you take your disgusting, irritating shirtless self out of this place? Well, yeah, not planning how to kill my friend. What to kill my friend again? Get out! You madman! Come on, get out from this place! Where is my friend? Where is my friend? Where is my friend? Ha! Dejected homo sapien. And you, better get back to me before the week exceeds. Excuse me. I want you to be on my side. I don't want the Ono or the youths of this community to start questioning the disappearance of Kambili. Can I be honest with you? She's alive. In fact, she's somewhere around us. Yes. You're married for my kindred. Your late wife was my sister, and we were best of friends. Or have you forgotten? 
I don't want you to join forces in troubling me. Are you assuring me that our princess, Princess Canberry, is alive? You know that once the funeral is announced, she will be needed to give her last respect to her father, our king. She will do just that. She will be at the funeral. I just want you to be on my side. My queen, what do you want me to do? I heard that Onowu is planning on staging a protest. Youths of this kingdom getting them to come to the palace demanding about Kambili's whereabouts, who raised so many eyeballs and shoulders. I don't want that protest to hold. And I do not want this topic to be ever discussed in this kingdom. I will tell you about everything in due time. Trust me, I will. Don't just allow them. Can you, can you just stop it? Seriously, you can't be chewing gum like some parent decal prostitute. You can't. Yes, this please. is someone's palace. See, see, eh? Sis, leave me alone. Leave me alone. This is my, this is my life. By the way, what are we doing here? I told you I hate to come to this place. What are we doing here? See. You can't live my life for me. You can't. This is my life. I am Princess Kambili, not you. Can you be calm for a moment? At this point, you are embarrassing me and people are looking at us. Is she your stepsister? Yes, she's my older sister. Do you have a problem with that old man? Oh, sorry, Princess. I don't have any problem. How are you, Princess Kambiri? Your Highness, I'm fine. I'm okay. People don't say my head they move, my head they touch. But I'm fine. This is my life. I'm just living it. This life that wants to, no darling. My mom okay. It's nice to see you in my palace. Um, please, I am sorry for the foul language she used. Ignore her attitude, please. No, 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 no don't worry. I'm actually enjoying her presence. So, I'm happy to see you too. My papa get palace too, but no lele. I'm happy. Shut up. Sis, I want to smoke. I, I'm, 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 I want to smoke my weed for you. You don't feel me? What? You can't do that here. This is a palace. Excuse me. I cannot do what? Are you mad? You cannot smoke. Are you mad? Mother. You are the one that is mad. Are you okay? You are the one that is doing it. You are the one very mad. Tell me how to do it. Your sister has already told me about Please it. Please shut up. I'm saying it. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up. I'm just living my life. And you don't have the right to tell me how I'm going to live it. Do you hear me? God, I'm respecting you. That's why. I would have been to Are you mad? How dare you tell me how to live my life? You must be very stupid. 
You are mad. Will you shut up? You are coming to a palace of smoke. Are you okay? I'll Please pay. get out from here, Jare. Are you the king? Why will you tell me how to live my life? Princess Maya, it's okay. It's okay. Uh-uh. Yes, palace. See, 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 see. Don't, don't you ever, in your, in your whole life, tell me how I'm going to live my life. Alright? Don't do that. You can't just smoke in this palace, that's all. That was a wonderful display. So this is for you. Voila. Anytime you need me, I'm always available. Hey, <laughs> the mission is achieved. Okay. All thanks to you. Right. Copy. Right. I'll drop you off. Collins may be your favorite, but we, the people of Orumba Kingdom, want to see our princess Kamile Chugu. Yes, we want to see her with her naked eyes. We want to see her alive. We want to see her. So, we will, all of us will talk. You don't want us to bury my father, the king, right? All I am saying is that I want Chief Collins to take over the throne. Let him wear the crown, whereas I get married to King Jordan of Ubuntu Kingdom. <laughs> Congratulations, my princess. That's a good idea. What we are seeing is that our princess, Kambiri Chuku, must be present in that palace. She is an adult like you. And we must not discuss anything in the palace without her. We want to see her. We want to see her. We want to even, I mean, talk with her. She is part of the marriage. She will be part of it. All of us will rejoice together. It's a good thing we are about to encounter. Eh? Please. All right. Understand me. My princess, understand what I mean.
Uh, hello, how are you and where, where are, are you, you heading to? I'm just coming back from the market. Um, remind me that your name again. <laughs> Amara. Eh, uh, Amara, that's right. Why yes, not sir. hop in? Let me drop you off where I'm going to. Oh, thank you, sir. It's really been a while. Come on, let me drop you off. It's okay. <laughs> So that was how she sucked us without paying us our salary. Well, um, Amara, as for me, I don't like to talk about that family anymore because they really did me dirty. I mean, they treated me so bad. Anyway, except for the king and his late wife. So sorry about that. It's okay. Anyway, I do rethink she's smart, mm -hmm. but I'm sure she will regret this. Definitely. I'm so sorry for everything they did to you. So, so sorry. Well, it's okay. Well, um, one more favor. Okay, what's that? Um, I'm actually hosting some men from my club this weekend. Oh, so I would okay. love for you to prepare me a favorite vegetable soup. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll you be sure? There. Yes. So I'm counting on you. Mm -hmm. No problem, I'll be there. So um, I'll pick you this weekend so you can come make the soup. Okay. All right. Okay. Do have a lovely day. You too. Really yeah. nice seeing you again. Same here. Bye. Yeah, enjoy your day. It's always painful to see you like this, especially when a child has pain for the sins of the mother. Like you're doing. She's so beautiful and innocent. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? Huh? Does it really matter? You know, honestly, I do not know what to do with you. I don't. I don't know what to do with you again. Just kill me. Huh? Kill me. I want to go and join my mother and my father and they will be so happy to receive me. Okay? Kill me. Why would I do that? That's not part of the plan. You see, I, 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 I can't soil my hands with your blood. Then let me go. Go? Let me go. I want to be out of this place for your children. Just let me go. Why would you be thinking of doing such? This, this whole place, this, 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 I mean, this is your father's palace. Why would you be thinking of leaving? You are the almighty prince in Scambili. The one and only favorite. Your palace will be empty when you're gone. So why do you want to go? No, you can't. You cannot. Please. I'm begging you in the name of God. I'm hungry. I'm tired and I'm weak. I need water. Can you please give me water to drink? Please. You're hungry? <laughs> tired? Thirsty? Why? Have you not been passing urine? <laughs> Have you not been passing? Service. You should use that for your food and drink. Receive saints. Don't you want to go to heaven when you die? You want to live hungry? Come on. You need to enjoy doors. Please you. Please. Please just let me go. Please let me go. Please I beg you. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Marathon! Marathon! Let me go! Stop. 
Why? Adore, I want to ask for your hands in marriage. Is we... that supposed to be a proposal? Yes. But I want to do it in your kingdom, in front of everybody. I want you to marry me. Then if we're getting married, what stops you from making love to me? We need to do the right thing. Okay? I just want you to understand. Princess Somachi is soon to be crown queen. I I admire the fact that you're proving stubborn with me. That's that's a taste of love, right? I I love every bit of it, but don't stretch it too much because. Whatever Princess so much wants, she gets. Well, my dear Princess So much. Princess So much. If you must know, I do not eat two sisters, and I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Come off it. How, how can you? Be talking about eating two sisters. Come on. When did you become a carnivorous animal that you feed on human flesh? That is awkward. Don't say that again. Anyways. You already know how much I, I, I want you. So it's not a big deal to actually clean you up, right? Clean you up to my taste and standard. Clean you up in such a way that you will fit into the society of my social status. So, I hardly change my mind on what I want, whatever princess so much. The crown queen in waiting wants, she gets. Princess Somachi, I have told you countless times without numbers that I do not need your love, friendship, or whatever you have to offer. But yet, you keep showing up at my place whenever you want and proposing this love that I've told you that I don't need. Oh, come on. Don't you have some atom of shame? No. Like I said before, when it comes to the one that I genuinely love, I am shameless. Totally shameless. And need I remind you again that I am the crown queen in waiting. Whatever I want. Princess, so much she gets. Well, Let that sink. Well, I would advise you walk away with some sense of pride and prestige like a queen you claim to be. Keep it. I, Ekene, do not need it.
in your wildest dreams. I've seen him before. Really? The other time at the mall, right? Yes. So what does he want? I'm sure he wants some money or food. Um, get him something now. Get him food or money. What do you think? Okay, um, let's go. Take. Take this food. And this water. Make sure the madman eats it. And when he's done eating, drive him far away from this land. I do not want the madman dying in this palace. Do you understand me? Yes, my present. She poisoned your food. She wants you to die. Your friend is not here. She was locked up in the palace. Say. I want to see my friend. I want to, I want, I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend. I want to see my friend Cambri. I want to see my friend Cambri. I want to see my friend Cambri. Give plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty. Money plenty. I don't need any money. I will take you to where your friend is. But promise me you won't be violent. Okay, good. I know you're not a violent person. Come, let's go. I'll take you to where your friend is. Okay, let's go. Maya, I am so sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to go and feed the madman. If I don't give him food by myself, he won't eat it. Really? Yes. Well, are you that close? Not really. I just wish I had the scissors. I would have cut off those dirty hairs and beards. Wow. You have such a good heart. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking of building an um, orphanage. We need one. That's nice. And a rehabilitation center for the mentally sick people. Your brother would like that idea, of right? Of course. Hmm. My brother would love to support you. I mean, our company would like to support because it's for humanity. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, what do I offer you? I'm fine. No, you can't be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. If you say so what so. about your mom? Um, she's fine. Everyone is fine. 
Good to hear. So have you been? I've just been dead. <laughs> Madozi, so you came to see me. I'm so happy to see you. God bless you for coming here. Stop. Don't cry. Okay? Stop crying. Look at me. Stop crying. I am going to be fine. I am going to be... I'm going to be alright and I'm going to be out of this place. Okay? Um, have you... Have you had something to eat? <laughs> Look. Very soon. Hmm? Everything is going to be all right. But I need your help. Now, does it look at me? You're my only friend. You're the only friend that I have. I need your help, okay? I need you to listen to me and listen very carefully, okay? I need you to go out there. Hmm? Go into the village. Tell everyone you see. Tell them everything that you know. Did you hear me? Tell them that the queen and her daughters, are you listening to me? They killed my mother, Queen Ola. Uh, and they also killed the king, my father. I, I, I overheard them in a conversation. The queen and her daughters were in an argument and I heard everything. Oh, they needed to help me carry this information out there. I know you're listening. I know you understand what I'm saying. Hmm? Tell them I'm in prison. I'm in cell. I need help. I want to be out of this place. Tell them everything. Please. Go. Listen. So go. You have to go. Go, go, go. Now, does he? This is not. Listen. Go. Hobby, let's go. I can help to step. Come. See. Take him. Just take him. You have to go. Let's go. Let's go. If the case find, find, finds me here, I'll be in trouble. Let's go, please. Let's go, please. Let's go. My princess. And where is your colleague? I did not see him, my princess. And where is the madman? I have not seen him, also, my princess. You did not see him? You're very stupid. You just sit here in the palace and eat like a fool. I'm sorry, my princess. Shut up your trap! I pray I find him. Fool. Look at you. You look like an unprecedented beggar. You are going to die inside here. Toothless bull. I'm not going to die in here. I can smell freedom. I can smell freedom. My freedom is near. God, please bring Nadozi back. Let him get help. My freedom is near. My freedom is now. Have you done what I asked you to do? Yes, my princess. I escorted the madman outside the kingdom as you've instructed. Without a car? We entered the bush. I thought you said nobody left the palace. My princess, he's telling lies. He never left the palace. My princess, I left the palace. He was not at the gate when we left. That's not true. I've been here. It's okay. You did what I asked you to do, right? Yes, my princess. That's what matters. Thank
The way they did not just change overnight. Something must have gone wrong somewhere. <laughs> Something like what? Each year. I have forgotten that if a quest late wife from the same kingdom with Queen Agatha. Eh? Hey! You must be taking side. Get into the trouble. Get into the nonsense. What kind of rubbish is this? Eh? I don't really know. What? If I catch you, I will kill you. Get away from there. Get away. Get out. Get out! What do you get out? Fool me. Am mm. I the one that made you mad? I don't know. Huh? Eh? Wouldn't I have peace again? We are suffering from uh, uh, all these insistent calamities. Then the mad man's phone has come in as an addition. My brother, Ichie Ibekwe, I heard you very clearly. But one thing I want you to understand is this. Uku naga wara wara. Aya naga wara. Eh? The whole thing will come into the limb light. Just calm down for the meantime. Calm down. I must unravel the mystery behind it. Oh no. You do say that Princess Adora wants us to crown Chief Collins as the king of her kingdom? Yes. So she said. But it cannot happen. Really? Yes. Really? As long as I remain the only one of this great kingdom. That well, must not happen. Hmm. And listen again. Yes. I did not give her any audience. Good. I told her I won't grant her audience on this. Until yes, we set our eyes on Princess uh, Kambi. <laughs> that is it. Oh no. Kita Kibian. Iba kai hangri. Let's go. But the issue of the way I miss uh Yes. Will soon be revealed. Good. Yes. I will expose it and make sure that if that is the way. I don't know. Oh, Gunter, my good friend. Nduke, yes. <laughs> we all know that mm. a toad does not scamper in the daytime in vain. That's true. Just as I was saying, mm. if you support me mm. as your friend, yes. the queen mm. will be very happy. Yes. Very, very happy. I don't know whether you understand. I do understand what you just said clearly. Good. But the problem is this, my family, they are hungry. I need money. Once you can give them money, eh? <laughs> I will do it. I will do it. Money. Money is not a problem. I will give you money. Uh -huh. <laughs> money is not a problem. You are heavy. Don't mind this, Aleka. <laughs> I have a message for you. I'll be serious. Go ahead. <laughs> How did the madman get to know about all this? He did not tell us the source. He only said that you and your daughters killed our king and Queen Olamu. That's not true. It's not true. He's a madman. My queen, mad people can be communicating with the gods. Perhaps, if you spread this news or this accusation, there will be dust in this kingdom. But he is insane. Whether he is communicating with the gods or not, he is mad. Don't you know what it takes for someone to lose his sense? He is not in his right sense. Look, Your Majesty, I have seen more days in this kingdom. People might not see it the way you are seeing it now. If you fail to do something about this madman's accusation, you and your daughters will be forced to swear before Amadio, our great deity. And you know what it means to be too bad. You have to do something very urgent. You may leave. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Hmm.
Listen, I want you to, to get me the head of the very madman coming to this palace. I need his head. Mother, that's not even possible. He should be dead by now. Why? I gave the guards a poison food to feed him with. And I told them when they are done feeding him, they should drive him far away from this land. Come on, sis. You behave as if you don't know how these things work. Even you, mom. Mad people are the most difficult set of humans to get killed. You don't just kill them like that. Even with food poisoning. Because most of them are immune to it. So why don't you allow mom do what's in her mind? Listen. I need his head. Dead or alive. Here's the sitting news. I need his head. Dead or alive. Before dusk on my table. Now move. Before they spread news and uh, nonsense rumor about me. Should I be allowed to do that? Mom, I think it's high time you released Kambiri. What for? The elders in council and Onowu has refused to crown your queen. Else Kambiri is released. I, I don't believe that, sis. At least, I know a little about our custom and tradition, mom. It's only until I get a man, that is when I can be crowned queen. Kambili has nothing to do with this. You know, it takes wisdom to rule this kingdom. But sometimes when you talk, it's as if you lacked him. Excuse me, mom. I think your sister is right. Right about what, mom? About us releasing Kambeli before you can be able to ascend the throne as a queen. You know, I... I don't know if I am the only one that is having this whole perception about this situation because why would you want us to release Kambili? It's not making sense to me. Mom releasing that little rat is like exposing us to the public. Everything we've done to her, everything you and my sister have done to. Why would you want us to do that? Come on, it's not necessary. I think you're not ready for this battle. Where you are headed, there is no gain. Majesty. Once again, you are welcome to Obudu Kingdom. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You know, I invited you here to formally inform you that I will be coming to your kingdom, to the palace, to seek for the hands of your princess in marriage. <laughs> what a good news. Ah! Uh, what a good news. Katoa Monti. Katoa Miche. Truly, we are still one in our king, but he has men in the kingdom. People like us, we welcome you. Remember, you have been a good ally to our kingdom. Eh? Uh, the kingdom and the uh, Uru kingdom. We are good allies. Hmm? We feel for each other. You are welcome. Thank you. Eh? Uh, Igwe. Uh, I, I guess. They are coming for our princess, Princess Adure. So, now that you've known, if there is anything I need to do prior to the marriage, 
you let me know. Oh. You know, since your king has not been buried. Um, your Majesty. No. Nothing at all. I mean, nothing. Nothing. We are waiting for you. Thank you. So my elders and I will be in your kingdom in two days' time. That's okay. Thank you. You people are being friends to our kingdom. Eh? You are a very close friend to our kingdom. No. We can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> so we should be lost now. Thank you. You can go ahead. Uh, so hey. Let's celebrate. Majesty. Let me see. Why is he not bleeding? Your Majesty, we found his corpse in the bush, so I had to cut off his head. Twelve were with it. At once. me how you imbecile of a human being have been surviving with no food no water it does well I can see that some people can never survive without my clothes shoes jewelries mm. and even my hairs but news flash to so the glory of God, some of us survive without food and water. <laughs> Thank you. Glory of God! Come on, will you come off it? Glory of God, I can't even come down to save you, right? You know it's a beautiful thing. You've kept saying it, your clothes, your shoes, your this, your that. Yeah, I'm aware they are all yours. That's your stupid mother. But you beautiful things. And guess what? No, news flash as well. They are all mine now. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. I, I will admit that all along I've been so jealous of you. Yeah. All along. And now, not, not anymore, because looking at you, you were a weak, dirty, disgusting swine octopus. What should I even call you that would be enough? Absolutely nothing. So, quit shedding those crocodile tears. I am not touched. Guess what? What? Even in my downest moment, I am still better than you. And again, <laughs> you will never be queen. <laughs> Don't you ever say that again. You will never be queen. I said not you, not your sister. Did you not hear me say don't you ever? You don't know what is coming. I said don't! Something is coming. Tick tock, tick tock. You're not even ready. Because the God that I serve and the God of this land is about to disgrace you and your demonic sister and mother. even as a servant. Now you run along. <laughs> you know what? Mm. You got a savior. Mm. And that savior is this protector. Else, you would be a walking corpse. Of course I will run along. Keep but just do. Hey, shut up. I am talking. I said shut up. <laughs> Pray. Pray that I do not become the queen. 
Because if I do, how I am going to make sure I save your head to the dogs of this palace. You don't know what is coming. Did you not hear me say, shut up, my God, and the gods of this land? I greet the rare house. Oh no. I greet the cheers. Oh no. Um, as the owner of war of Urumba Kingdom, the king of Obudu Kingdom invited me to his palace. He might know his intention of marrying our princess to me. They will be here in two days' time. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we agreed as follows after my explanation of our current situation here. One, there will be no form of any event of any type or marriage or whatever ceremony can take place in this palace until we will not only see our princess but she will be there fully we see her in full frame I mean princess Kambiri one of the others and daughter of this kingdom that was the agreement and on this note, I declare this meeting ended already. Oh. Um, Amara, Sir. I want to thank you for the food and for the other day. Uh -huh. Look, I must confess, I and my friends enjoyed the food <laughs> and even my father. Wow. So I want to say thank you. You don't need to tell me thank you. You don't need to. I should be the one telling you thank you. Thank you for allowing me to cook for you and your friends. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Amara, one more thing. Uh, please. Okay. I want you to marry me. Please. Marry you? Yes. <laughs> Look, Amara, if you be my wife, I will treat you like a queen and also make you the envy of so many women. Anything you want, I would do it. Please, and you will not leave a day to regret ever accepting to be my wife. Please. Your wife? Yes, marry me. Wow, this is great, yeah? It's, you know, it feels good to see my son happy again. Yeah? Look at him. He now smiles and laughs, you know, <laughs> without any prompting. Ah, bro, bro. Yeah? Uh, my daughter, I thank you so much for accepting to be his wife. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Papa. Babe, let me prepare something for Papa to eat, okay? All right. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I must confess, I am more relaxed now. <laughs> she is actually the woman I needed all this while. Well, although I am still feeling a little bit of heartbreak, but I'm sure I'll get over it. Yes. You are even talking about heartbreak. What's heartbreak? It's a very simple thing to do. Channel everything to her. Eh? You can see she's a good woman, she's good to you, she loves you. She takes good care of you, she cooks very well. And she keeps the whole house in order for you. What else do you want in a woman? Eh? Not that useless idiot that calls herself princess. Eh? She doesn't know how to cook, she doesn't know how to uh, clean the, the house. Does she even know how to clean her own body? Yeah? Well, so she calls herself a princess. Oh, forget about her. Eh? This is the woman for you. This is the woman for you. 
uh, well, uh, thank God uh, some, for some miracles, you know, it happens sometimes. Now her personal maid is your wife. Uh, uh, Papa, she is not a maid. Just call her my wife, please. Okay. I'm just referring to her uh, from my experience as uh, the princess uh, has made. <laughs> Papa, forget about the past. Just call her my wife. It's okay. And I like her just the way she oh, is. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, eh? That's what Sorry. I'm talking about. All is well that ends well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and why did you prefer Chief Collins to be our king? It eh? is best known to me, you know. We did not even consider Princess Kambiri oh, yes. to be the queen. It is not possible now. I know your intentions for me to crown Queen Kambiri, right? I will not do that. Have you forgotten that I am Ada Adure? of the late king, the heir apparent of Uru Kingdom. Uh, my princess, I don't know from where you're getting or driving this, your notion. I don't know from where you're coming from. All I know is that in that day, you must get married. Yes. And secondly, a queen must be crowned. That's what I know. <clears throat> Hello? Your Majesty. <clears throat> I want you to send a message across to Princess Kambiri. Tell her to find herself in the palace now. Her presence is seriously needed. Yes. The youths, the elders, and in fact the entire uh, Indigenous of this kingdom are expecting her to be in the palace to witness the marriage of her sister, Princess Adure, to the king of Obudu Kingdom. It is very, very important. Yes, there must not be any excuse at all. She must be present. Yes, conspicuously present. Thank you. Uh huh. It's okay. Mm. <coughs> yes. Oh no. Hey. Please. Please, let us not deviate from our culture. Kendugwe, we do respect. You shut up your mouth. I want to do that. I've forgotten we are learned educated men of this kingdom. Who are you to shut me up? It's a debate. I said, who are you to shut me up? In fact, who is Princess Cambri? It's a debate. I see you talking from both sides of your mouth. Why? Why? <laughs> well, um, you asked me a question. Who is Princess Cambiri? Yes. Good. Princess Cambiri is not a pawn at chess board. Yes. She's a vital, educated, dignified woman. And if you don't have forgotten, <laughs> she is the noble daughter of our king, King Alfred, the ruling king of our kingdom, Uru Kingdom. You heard it very clearly. Hmm? Stop talking from both sides of your mouth. Ndukwe, you are here talking from both sides of your mouth. Did you palace? M must she be available? Must she be in the palace? Must she come back from London and be in the palace? What's going on? Why? I'm asking. Your Highness, I don't know. But why they are Onuwu did not let us know this before now. Well, if that is the case, then she should be invited. Oh, please. No way. That rascal, that psychopathic patient, she will not even honor your invitation in the first place. I mean, that princess is a crazy one. Why would you know we invite her to the palace and if not, the marriage will not take place? Well, I'm a king who respects customs and traditions. I think if this will cause, will cause issues, babe, you need to invite her. You need to let her know that she needs to be available. It seems you haven't been listening to me all this while. I said she will never come back. I insist you talk to her. Tell her that I specifically 
wants her to be in the palace. She needs to come back from London. You know, I'm saying this so there won't be a problem. Uh, please, uh, Your Majesty, I suggest you call there Onu. You know, our festival is in four days. Please. I know, I understand. I understand, but we can't go against their customs and traditions. So let's do the right thing. It's okay. You say so. Your Highness, I am sorry. So sorry, Your Highness. But I want you to know that what we are doing is our custom. Princess Kambiri is also an Ada. And uh, there is no way she must be absent while her own fellow Ada, in the name of Princess Adore, is taking marital vows with you. Can't you see that some ambiguity there? It's not allowed by a tradition. And most importantly, a queen will be crowned before the marriage. Princess Kambiri is from Queen Oledo and her only child at that. So please, you push understand this matter. See the whole thing from this perspective because I know that you understand what is called tradition. As a custodian of your own tradition. I know. I understand your point. You, you have a very valid point there. But oh no, what if she refused to be? No, the princess can be that I know. Will not refuse to be present. I remember Sarada. She is supposed to be there to give her her own blessings. Huh? Like I said before, you push it on the stand with us. We're just doing our tradition. Your Majesty. I want you to understand that our people has absolute respect for your customs and traditions. We will neither dance nor disobey them. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Hmm. Nothing. Hmm? It's okay. <laughs> so the ball is in your court now. <laughs> Take a step backward. That's fine. I just want to remind you that you're going to be my husband for a period of 30 days. After that, we'll go our separate ways with no feelings attached. I think we've discussed this before and you've paid me handsomely for it. I'm glad you remember vividly well. Yeah, I paid you well and I'm glad you do remember. But I am just here to remind you because I wouldn't want emotions to begin to fly around, thereby causing some side talks in the air. That would be detrimental to the royal house. We are on a contract. Relax. I know everything, and I'm going to do my part tomorrow. Relax your mind. You don't tell me to relax. I am the one to ask you to relax because you dare not go contrary to what we agreed on. So having said that, relax your mind and get the job done. It's okay. You may leave. All right. Hey, come back. When next you come to see me, we are the perfume that I got you. You smell like a dead rat, and that is disgusting. 
for I am a princess, a royal one at that. Everything and everyone around me must represent royalty. Get out. Got him a perfume, he couldn't even use it. Comes around me smelling like a dead rat. Poor people everywhere. Cha 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 cha. Orumba kwenu. Orumba wianu. Wano. Mwano. Zono. Kacha kwano. Kumbuno zono. Ha. You know your house. My elders. Abu elders. The entire people of Orumba Kingdom present here. I welcome all of us. I welcome all of you. I see now, who can I can't be sick of you? Today is a great day in our land. A queen will be declared to rule our land. Secondly, one of our princesses will be crowned queen for the king of um, over the kingdom. So today is a very good day for us. I urge us to come down and have fun. I am patiently wait for the arrival of the king of Obudu with his entourage. Huh? Yes. 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 My princess, Princess Maya. Oh no, 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 Where am I just? Kachano, yeah, Your Majesty. Oh, Rakuna Ratuko. Oh, somebody that made you, a girl that made you to be here. Because in this place we have about three princesses. And they're all beautiful. In fact, parade of beauties. We want to know that one that made you leave your comfort in all your glory at Obudu to be here this time. Oh, no. Uh, Simple. Princess Adure. Oh. Adure. Which means I was right. His Majesty went ahead, came here, and dipped his hand in the cola sauce and took Ojugo. <laughs> Beauty itself. That's the reason we are here. Oh, no. That's the reason we are here. As tradition demands, please bring our wife. <laughs> oh, I do the goodness, Your Majesty. Let's have uh, Princess Adura here. Mm -hmm. Hi, you go to Ah, ah, Your Majesty. You have a Ah, what is the madman? You don't understand me. Who asked you to come here? And who says he's a madman? My cousin is not mad. He's perfectly fine. What? 
your cousin. Ha! Nadoze, my brother. You have done well for the kingdom of Obudu. I wanted a wife. I needed a queen for my people of Obudu Kingdom. Out of nowhere, Aduri came. She started throwing herself at me. She befriended my sister. She tried everything possible to influence our judgment. I decided to play the game. That's why I contacted my brother Nadozi. Nadozi, who do you think deserves to be the queen of my heart? Who do you think deserves to be the queen of Obudu Kingdom? Go ahead and point the princess. For whoever you point, I have chosen. My king and brother, indeed this world is full of evil. This woman, Queen Agatha, and her daughters are evil. Mm -hmm. They tried to kill their stepsister, a girl with a good heart. Some of the elders are also evil. In fact, they are wolves in sheep clothing. The guys are our brothers. And they are also a part of the plan. They poison my food and demand for my head to be cut off. Hey! Without knowing that I was on a mission. And today, the mission has been accomplished. Just a minute, my king. My princess, can you recall what I told you in the cell a time ago? I'm not a madman. I was actually on a mission. What? I was sent by the king of the kingdom. I've already told them everything that had been happening in the palace. Okay? Yes. What? See. Oh my god. See. This is the evidence. It's all up. Let's go. What's that? Hold this ring. What? What is this? Take this ring. This is to show you that you have been chosen to be the queen of a Buddhist kingdom. Okay? Oh, Take it. What? Take you? it. Coming back for you. We're coming back. Don't reveal this to anyone. Okay? Oh my god. We're coming back for you. I shall go. I will be there if the okay. princess finds So you even tried killing him. Huh? And cutting off his head and carrying it on a platter. No, 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 I, 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 Shut up! The same way she killed your queen and poisoned your king. Come, 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 come. You killed our queen and poisoned our king. No! Hi! I didn't do that! No problem. You must die. All of you. You are all these your evil daughters. You will all die. Oh no, I am not a part of it. I am not. You must be put to death, all of you. Abomination. Hello. Hey. But the king is not dead. 
What? Huh? He's alive. Oh! Ah! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty, you're welcome, your Majesty, 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 your I am not dead. <laughs> I'm alive. You can tell me not in the house. What about you? You are welcome. You are not dead. Ghost of Alan. I got that. You did try to kill me, but you did not succeed. The doctor that works for you confessed everything he did with you. It is quite unfortunate that you still do not know whom you are married to. I am who I am. Kreketem boy baba mo nkizi nozulumba. I've called the commissioner of police. Organize his boys to get you apprehended with your band of killers that he used in killing my wife, Olama, and attempted killing me. My, my Shut up! Don't say a word. Do not provoke me for that. I have been calling you. No. Go back. It is not yet your time. Go back and take care of her. Go back. Go back. Go back. Today, old fools, pathetic excuse for elders. I have heard everything you have done. I will address that later. The people of Obudu Kingdom has finally seen a queen. I have seen my bride, the virtuous woman my heart has always yearned for. Hey. <laughs> and she is princess. Orumba, mamanu, mamanu, mamanu. <laughs> My dear, everything happened very, very, very fast. Like, as if I was dreaming. Mommy, it is good though. Hey. Hey. Mama, your house is very beautiful. <laughs> and what are you two unfeathered urchins doing in my man's house? <laughs> <laughs> 
Amara. You? As you can see, I'm in my friend's house. Ekene? Ekene? Uh, what are these two retarded creatures doing in your house? And what are you doing here? Excuse you? Yes, what are you doing here? Is that what it's supposed to be for me? Oh, I see. Well, if you must know, this is my beautiful wife. And obviously, she's heavily pregnant for me. <laughs> and we do not need any disturbance right now. Exactly. The house is already filled and four will be a crowd. Please, can you leave? Please, leave. Kindly use the door, please. Uh -huh. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's okay. Hmm. Yes. You guys should enjoy yourself, okay? Thank okay. you. I was actually doing something inside. Oh, no problem. Alright? Right? Look at that mat. What are you doing there? Yeah. Princess Maya, my friend and sister, how are you doing? I'm fine. You look changed. What happened to you? Yes, that is because God has arrested me. I am now a born again Christian. Oh, wow. Just like you did to Paul. So are you not a minister or what? Well, you can say that I am a child of God right now. Well, it's just so hard to believe, Annie. Yes, God has arrested me and his awesomeness is something but I look how we have here. Mm. Could you meet King Jordan? Please, King Jordan, I am here to apologize for all the wrong things I've done to you. Please forgive me. I know I've done unthinkable. I am sorry. I came here to tell you that I still love you. I love you so much from my heart. Please, forgive me. And it's okay, I hold no grudges against you, okay? But there is nothing I can do at this point. I'm married. You are married? Yes. But I think you have um, something important to do before you came out. Yes, a whole lot of things. You can just go and continue. All right. Yeah. I'm inside. All right. Yes, Your Majesty. What is the problem? Your Majesty, I wouldn't say whether this is good or bad news. What news is it all about? What news? Winagata is dead. What? Dead? Yes. She's dead. She is dead. And um, she took the shortest cut to her by taking a poison. <laughs> well, um, that's her own cup of tea. <sighs> that's the end of her one face. Another news, Your Majesty. Which other news? This one, good news, Your Majesty. Since you came back, Your Majesty, your beloved daughter, Princess Kambili, has just put to bed. What? I mean it. She has delivered a set of twins. Ho <laughs> ho! A boy and a girl! <laughs> <laughs> 
May the gods be praised. You say, oh no, not for me. Hey, what did just this happen today? When? When did it happen? About ten minutes ago. Huh? Yes. But we're not taking your calls. Oh yes, you know I was not quite close where my phone was. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, congratulations, your I, I, I thank you very much. I, I don't want to hold this joy all by myself. I want you to make news round. Let people gather. I must do merriment with this good news. It is good news indeed. Eh? Good news indeed. <laughs> Please, um, gather people. Let them come and, and uh, eat, dine and wine with me. This is not something to keep quiet with. You, Wait. <laughs> you can start the celebration through me. I just want to start making some calls for the merriment. You know, you know that. That. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> yes. I'll be on my way, Your Majesty. Let me go at once and arrange the things. Oh, it's okay. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, okay. Wonderful. <sighs>